Howard Garrett, the Dirt Doctor, here with some advice on healthy living. A good reason to not deadhead all your roses is to allow the hips, the fruit of the plants, to mature. Rose hips in teas, salads, and other dishes provide excellent source of vitamin C. Plus, some roses, such as the Ragosa rose, have large, very beautiful decorative hips. Roses are beautiful and easy to grow with the organic program, and everyone should plant some. My organic rose program can be found under guides on the homepage of dirtdoctor.com. Hips are used for herbal tea, jam, jelly, syrup, beverages, pies, bread, and marmalade. I use the hips in herb teas. A few rose species are grown specifically for the ornamental value of their hips. Rose hips are also used to feed some pets and horses. The dried and powdered form can be fed at one tablespoon per day to improve coat condition and new hoof growth. Rose hips are used in many food preparations for colds and for flu. Dry rose hips are also sold for primitive crafts and are scented with essential oils to be used as potpourri and room air fresheners. I'll see you right here for our next healthy living tip. For all your gardening, landscaping, and pest control questions in the meantime, or to join the Organic Club of America, go to DirtDoctor.com or our Facebook page for help. Go organic and enjoy your healthy gardens.